Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about drawing fabric textures. Now I've done videos on drawing fabric and fabric folds and it would be a very simple thing to draw this fabric as a series of folds where you see the upper part here is in the light and, and where it goes inward is in the dark. However, the detail of this fabric the pattern, the textures, well that's a whole different animal. So we're going to get into it in this video. I'm going to give you a disclaimer right off the bat here and that is that whether you're drawing fabric, skin, the eye, whatever, if you're going for photorealism where you are wanting to get all the details exact, then basically you're going to have to just draw what you see and that is a series of tones and in order to do that especially as something as complex as this is that we're going to break this down into bite-sized pieces now what do I mean by that I mean using the grid method so that should be showing up pretty good on the uh, camera okay so we'll just concentrate on uh, two or four of these. I'll see how long it takes to do them. So now what I need to do is take my drawing paper and I need to create those squares on here that I'm going to draw from here. And in this case, I'm just going to draw it in the middle. Okay, so taking my ruler here, I'm going to do the same thing as I just did. And that is I'm going to go two inches here's two inches and another one two there we go so that's where I'm going to draw that pattern so this case here because I'm limited in camera space okay I wouldn't normally do this of course with a drawing but we only have so much room for the camera and I want to get a little closer up so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so I can put it closer to the pattern that I want to draw and zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing. How's that? Okay, I'll just get rid of this. There goes a part of a tree. We will mourn it later. Okay, so let's zoom in and get this party started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to draw that pattern in that square. Alright, to get our drawing going. So what I'm going to examine here is that I've got several tones. I see that I've got the darkest dark. I've got really light area here, which is going to be the white of the paper. And then I have mid-tones, which is going to be the lighter of the uh, charcoal itself. So in this case, I'm not going to use any uh, graphite because this is a serious... Uh, black and white situation here and uh, there's not much room for graphite although I certainly can use um, graphite for some of the areas here I, I just use some um, uh, charcoal instead and just lighten it up with my eraser and life will be just fine so in this little exercise I think I'll use my um, extra hard charcoal pencil and uh, I have also a soft p 
pencil, which is the Primo Elite Grande 5000. And then I have a hard charcoal pencil here, a regular hard charcoal pencil. So obviously the Grande Elite would be that really dark, dark. Um, I can use the uh, hard to, to do these uh, dark areas within the light areas. And then I can use the uh, extra hard, perhaps for the more grayish areas, as well as I'm going to use this uh, paper blender, which will give me a really light situation. So, to start off with, and just to go really light here, I'm going to take my, my extra hard, and I see that I have this really tiny uh, dark area here, not super dark, but I'm going to just go and see what my extra hard is going to do for me. Okay, looks like it's going to be dark enough. So I'm just going to get that in there like so. And to start off, I'm going to put this in and then I'm going to use what's on here and blend it to kind of give it this blurry look. You can see that it has this blurry look. So let's just try to mimic this, this pattern as close as we can. Perfection is not necessary at this moment, actually no, at no moment, but let's just get this pattern in and see how we do. Now this is a very time consuming thing to do and uh, you don't want to rush it depending on what level of realism you're going for and what I'm demonstrating here is when we're going to go for photorealism we definitely want to make sure that we we draw what we see instead of making things up you can certainly make up your own pattern there's no problem with that. Still using the extra hard. See, and I'm just mimicking these little patterns that I see here. Taking my time. Normally I'd be listening to some good old rock and roll music just to keep me entertained and, and relaxed, but I can't do that when I'm filming because for obvious reasons you guys would be shut out. You wouldn't be able to hear me. And of course I would, I would get a strike a, co a copyright strike because YouTube would would be able to sense what uh, song it was and somebody will claim that I'm using their music in my videos and I'm not paying them for it and, and in actuality I wouldn't be using their music for my video I'd be using the music for my listening pleasure <sighs> but you know you can't fight Big Brother, right? Okay. So, I'm just going to get that in there like that. And then I'm looking at this. You can see this pattern, right? Kind of just, it's not completely solid black, but except for, you know, in the inner part, but the out fringes is not. But I want to kind of get that little pattern there. So I'm just going to really, like, lightly see if I can see draw that pattern out. And get that part in here just like that just so I know where my boundaries are this white part here starts just beyond the halfway between here and here if you go to the middle it's here so if I go to the middle which is here then a little bit beyond that is right here okay and then it kind of comes over to there so just gives me an idea a ballpark 
And then this white part kind of ends with that right there. So I'm going to go like that. Just give me some guidelines. And then you got this mid-tone going out like this. So I'm going to kind of branch out over here like so, really light, just to mark off where that would be. Okay, that's a good. Now, back to this thing again. Let me get my Q-tip. And let me just kind of go like this with my Q-tip kind of blending things a little bit and then see how it's matching up to this. And it's almost there. It's just not dark enough. So let me add some more. And this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to add some blend, add some blend, and then eventually... Uh, you'll reach a point to where um, you get the tones you're looking for. Okay. And if you have to go with a darker or smoother um, charcoal pencil, by all means, it'll blend even better than this this hard this hard one will. Okay. So I could see that this one should have been a little bit higher, like should have been like way up here. I'm going to just put it up there anyway so it would be a little thicker and I'm not going to worry about it. Then let me see if I blend it again. If I can get the tone to match to match that more. And that's that blur section right there. I'd say that's looking pretty darn good. Yes siree. Now, I see there's some dots in there. I'm going to just pull them out right now. Okay, there's like there's one right there. See if that shows up. Okay, so I could tell I need to go a little darker. Just because of how the... Um, how that shows up more than that does. Yeah, let's see, right below there I have this. I'm using a hard charcoal right now because it's softer than the extra hard. And that will give me a little extra to blend with. And I got that pattern right there. Okay. It goes up like that. Whoops. Okay. Goes like that, a little bit off of the edge there. A couple of light bridge crossings here. A little one right there. Okay. And this one comes down like so and connects to this one there. So Looks like I got that right. Let those two connect, be friends, form bonds, you know. Okay. Got that in there like so. And let me just darken that again. I'm going to do another blending. See how it blends. Ah, yes, look at that. They look like twins. Okay, that corner and that corner look like twins. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave some base tone in here since I got it on here anyway. Okay, and then I want to take out those white dot areas. So I got one right there, one right there, one right there. Okay. I see a discrepancy here. 
connect to this little dot here this should come down to here like so and it comes out like that there you go yeah that's it right there give it a little blend not too much because that's actually much more solid looking in the photo so now I'm just going to adjust and this is going to bring out those highlights a little bit more just going to go in there like so and just going to gently shade this area here okay and then all this I want all this too this is all that tone you see in this hard, extra hard charcoal is just the perfect it's the perfect mid-tone if you don't press on it otherwise it will be it'll be the perfect too dark tone and you don't want that and I'm not even going to draw in this light area here because that's that I'm going to go around it and that way I'll really be able to keep that light Okay, and I noticed that there's a, a darker connection between here and here, so I want to get that in there. And I'll use this extra hard, but I'll press a little bit. And there we go. Just give it that appearance of some kind of a bridge. Bridge of size. Okay, there we go. Alright. Then I'm going to continue on, just give it some more very gently very gently and I can go ahead since this is all mid-tone in here I'm going to go ahead and just put that mid-tone in there and then I'll blend it a little bit and then we will um, pull out any highlights if necessary alright in this case here let me use my paper blender and avoiding the dark soft charcoal areas I just want to blend around and through it because I don't want to I don't want to lose the, the darkness that I already have in there but you can see just move that around also nicely And if you get some charcoal on your paper blender, it will do a great job of getting your midtones in there too. So you have lots of options about getting it. Just don't press down on the paper because it'll be hard to pull out the whites if you need to. Okay. So there you go. I'm going numb in my hand already. So take my dark pencil here and let's see we got that white right there and so there's my pattern here and then I got this pattern here so I'm going to come in here like so and get that in there so you can see that the secret to drawing the fabric pattern is simply to draw what you see there's there's nothing different about doing it doing this and drawing anything else you just have to you just have to draw what you see and it will come out but you know the more intricate the pattern is that you you get well and the you know more realistic you want to be the more work you're going to have to put in here to do it you're going to have to be patient you can spend yourself a good half an hour per square and then this will be one of those you know uh, hundred hour drawings you know if you if you spend all that time just on this uh, pattern okay so I'm going to start getting most of this dark in here now with my hard charcoal now you see I'm, I'm going to stay within the core here where it's just solid, it's solid black in there so I'm just going to stay in there right now because I need this outer part to, to pull some stuff out so let me just do this real quick here okay and then 
once I get that in there, I'm going to take some of that and spread it out with my paper blender. So now I got my paper blender here, and then I can blend it outwards like so. There we go. So we get it like that. And I can see that I need to expand it a little bit more, which is not a big deal. So first off, I see that was my last pattern there, and that's my last pattern there. I see that I have to come down here with this, kind of like this. And then there's this little thing that comes off to the right like so there's a black dot to the left get that okay we got this what else do we have we have we have this part here going into the into the midnight here so let's get that in there cuz that's the easy part let's get that to go right into the midnight into the dark and look at this white area and that is what you want to mimic right here so that's your negative space and if I had a video on that and you can just darken your area here until you see that same shape taking form looks like a tiny Texas to me but I'm going to get that in there until I get somewhat of that shape and there you go see I got that little shape like that and that's that shape right there so I'm, I'm mimicking what I see here and then the rest of it around here is a little darker then on this side I have this little dot then I see this thing comes around like this and goes into that dot a little bit so I'll do that and I know this is all a little darker so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that going there okay same with this area here I'll have some white dots I'm gonna have to pull out of here but that's fine okay All right. And again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to blend out into the neighboring area. Okay, this part here looks like it's pretty well shaded. Comes around here. That should be shaded. So that's mid-tone. That's mid-tone. Okay, that's mildly mid-tone right there. Don't want to go too dark there. All right, and now time for me to do a little pulling out. So a little bit right there, a little bit right there. In here. So I'll just take this a hard pencil, for example, and I'm going to just lay down some mid-tone all the way here it's just it will save me a lot of time and if you're doing this it will save you a lot of time we'll just get that part down in there anything you can do to save time alright so I did that and I'll just take this paper blender here and I'm just going to move it around. I'm not putting any pressure on this at all, okay guys? Really, no pressure. If you can't stay light on the touch with your blender, use your 
cotton swab there or your cotton bud you know and just just do it with this you know go in there do it this way just as good okay just as good okay just like that all right now continuing on can start over here got this part here I see it's a little bit I gotta get a little bit darker on this uh, a little wider okay good uh, here see I'm going over things that I've already done just to make sure that it looks good and that's like that's like that and then that's like that like that and it goes like that okay and here I have a little thing like this with a little thing like this something like that I think it gets a little closer to that line there okay then it has this like a uh, branches off with this little specker thing little specker thing gotta have the little specker thing and this here where is that that's this one here darken that part there okay okay continuing on let's see we got uh, see the white dot is there there we got this piece here so underneath this piece here's this thing right there so that goes right there comes in like so and goes into the midnight to the midnight which has a line here okay there's a little white speck that should be right there let's see if I can get that close to where it needs to be does that show up enough I think maybe a little bit more yeah that's good enough I guess Let's see yeah Okay, and then I think it was a little dark around it, so let me get dark around it, and it comes out more, so that's good, that'll work. Okay, so that's there, and that's there, and that comes down to there, and then you have this part here, okay. Now here you have this big black streak here I'm gonna go ahead and put that in along this line here so I I know where my borders are so I got this dot here it's not really a dot but you know what I'm saying and then this dark area here like so and then it comes off like this It's a good time for a tortillon. Tortillon. Let's see if I can, how far I can go without using my tortillon. And then this here looks like it has a little tail going that way and a tail going going that way and then at the top of that tail is this Y thing here and this Y thing here and then you have this other thing right here and then you have this dark area here to there and you have this mid-tone thing going on which there's the top of it there so I'll make that go like that and shade that in here and then here 
looks like right next to that mid-tone thing is I have this big old white dot. Let's see if I can get it in there. You know what? I'm going to use I'm going to use this electric just to get that dot back in there, which was never there, but it's going to be in there. Let's see. Just so I don't forget. There we go. And then use my um, extra hard to round out the bottom of it, like so, so I can boundary it off. Yeah, I do that. And make it look like that, which I have this other thing coming down like so. Hooks to there, comes up. Okay, goes inside the midnight here let's go through like this and then this comes out like this comes down to here and then that goes up into here like so and then it's separated in the middle like that it's a little lighter on that side there so let's see if I can get that in there. Might be tricky. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay. Then that goes up like so. That's that right there. Then we come down to here. And we go up to here. And this goes down like so. And goes in like that and then we have this other white area here which I'm going to go ahead and save it like that. Need eraser and I need to put a dot right there. Ah, let, me, let me use this. Let me just get this in here. And on the other side. Yay! Look at that! looks just like that huh okay and I had one up here okay and let's see there's one here just real gently gotta be gently okay and let's see what else do I have here Okay, there's a little bit of lightness here. I'm just going to go light. I'm just going to rub here a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. That's it. Okay. I'm getting my pattern here going. I need a little bit of blur. A little blur. Just use your cotton. You get the blur going. If you're going to mimic exactly what you're seeing here, that is. Okay little blur here okay what you see is what you get alright and remember if you you blend and you take something out then you need to put it back in again okay very important okay looks like I got my primo in my hand this stuff's really soft but I'm going to use this to get really into the dark core of this like right there where no light shines just to get that part in there alright there we go and then I'll blend it out so you don't see any kind of demarcations without getting my light areas I don't want my light areas affected look at that genius not me this alright alright so we're getting somewhere here okay now let's see where we can get back to starting here okay I need to connect this I can use my paper blender to do that got that okay I got this little part right here look at that I could actually draw with this thing Okay, and let's see what else do I need to do. Oh yeah, so I have this mid-tone here. That's that right there. 
and so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw it the same shape that I see. It comes out like this, comes out like that. Okay, looks just like that. Okay, get that in there. Then I see it kind of breaking off this way. I'll just put that in there for right now but there you go there's that pattern and then this part here is slightly blurred so I'll use this to blur it a little bit blur that a little bit and blur that and that look at that wow okay and right here I should have this thing coming out like so and then going up and curving over and then the crossing this way and crossing this way and you have that little white specky dot in there and then you have this crossbar thing right here here also lightly okay and I get the hard charcoal here because I got some darker area right here I want to get in there so here I'm just going to go just a little darker than what I've done with the paper blender just to outline this just like I see it in the photo. I, I need to mimic what I see in the photo and there you go. Okay, perfecto. I have a little black area right here that's just off of this hook. Let's see the hook. There's a little line here and then this comes down right here. So I'll put that in there. Precious. All right, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a blend. And that's also gonna feed my blender so I can keep going with the, uh, with the line here. And let's see, where do I need to go? Oh, I have to go around here like so, like that. That's not bad. Could be better, but it's not bad. Then like this. Oh, and I see that I have some I'll use my hard charcoal for this, but I have I have these uh dark areas right here, this and this. So this comes way off to here like this. I think I got that in the right location. And then you go up around like this right then you have one that actually crosses the line into the other side and I'll just go ahead and draw that in there too alright so that crosses the other side I'm not going to keep on going but that's that's that area there you have that that and then there's this one here which comes off about right to there and I'll just go ahead and get that one in there Well, that's not too bad. Well, okay. And then you have this little white thing, I mean this dark thing right there. I think it's about right there. And I'm just spotting all the details that I can. Because they act as landmarks as well. Okay, so this part comes down then there's a part here get this in here like so there's a little black dot here and then there's this area here too bad okay 
right, we'll go in here. We need to lightly shape that highlight so it's the right shape. Okay. And this all is supposed to be the dark one, so I'm going to go in here like so. Get that in there. Okay. The blender. Because I need, I need some blending up here. Oops, that was a smear, but I'll use it. It'll add character to it. Okay. And let's see what else can I do here. Okay, I need I need this done here. This goes down to here. I'm gonna keep going. Here got this here, gonna come down to here. Okay, gonna go up to here. I'm gonna go to here. Darken this area here. I'm constantly looking at the reference, making sure that I'm somewhere in the ballpark of where I need to be. Okay, here, let's see, you gotta come down to here like so. See, it's right here. Yeah, there we go. And let's see, then it's kind of goes across like this and then it comes up like like this and then like that that's it just like that and then I can see that I need to come out here and draw this part which connects to that wow so I just came full circle back to where I started and it, and it made the connection that's a good sign that's definitely a good sign. Okay, now that's got to take a little bit of blending because it needs to be blurred. These are blurred points here. Okay, and then I'll just extract. I'll extract the uh, whites from there in a second here, like right here. And then here, and here, okay, and then I'll lighten this, so I'll just rub it, okay, and then here, lighten this, I'd lighten it earlier, but it disappeared. And oh, I have a couple here I got to do. And here. Okay, come on. Let's see what's with this thing. Okay, I can see that I need I need to come in here right above here. I have this here like so. And it goes like that, and then it's got to come around like so. Go like that, okay? And that's going to connect over to that. Oh. Except that part's blurred. And I should put the blur back in there. So, since I don't want to do a wholesale blur, I'm going to blur it with this a little bit and blur it with this. A little more. Uh, control here okay now I'm going to come in here with this and I'm going to take that highlight out first I'm going to have to sharpen my little point here okay I think that's good all right so I wanted that right there and this one. OK. 
Okay, and then I gotta put that part back in there. So there we go. Okay. And I needed this part here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I need this part back. Yay! Alright, and I got that one. I got that one, that one. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, here. And light, 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 light. A couple here. Just gently. Or you can see them. Here, this is real intricate work right here. That's the way to do it. Money is for pocket and the chicks are free. I want my, I want my MTV. Okay. I see there's a thing over here. I need to get that in there. But, uh, yeah, you can keep refining this depending on how perfect you want to get it. But, um, I definitely got it going here. It's looking pretty good. Just get the highlights in there where they belong. Boy, oh boy, there's a lot going on here. All right, I think that's good. And uh, I'm not showing you how to do folds. I'm showing you how to do the... Uh, pattern the textures the folds are all on you to go look at another video on that but of course you can sit there and you can modify this I mean you know touch it up and then make it gradually come out into the light and as you finish the rest of the squares one square at a time um, then your your pattern is going to evolve and you're going to be able to uh, see exactly uh, the folds and everything of the fabric. Okay. But due to the time, which is an hour and 15 minutes to do the one square, I think you can get the idea. This is, this is going to be just four hours for me to do all four of these squares. And you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'd say you got about 16 hours of work for uh, drawing this. 16 hours. Okay? That's what it's going to take. Now let me cut this out here. Alright.
Okay. And voila. There you go. See? A perfect replica. So, anyway, that's how I would do it. And that's the whole purpose of this video is to show you how I would do it if I wanted to tackle something like this and I wanted all this detail well I'm going to spend a whole lot of time to uh, perfect that and by the time you're done people are just going to drop their jaws at your drawing because they're gonna think it is a photograph see if you liked it please give me that thumbs up it's very encouraging to do more subscribe and click the bell and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.